this is your girl Yasmin Iman and welcome back to my channel <laughs> if you love content where you want to level up be the best version of yourself self-love and motherhood this is for you in today's video I am sharing with you six ways to raise your vibration to manifest anything you want <laughs> so this is a video you need to stay tuned to okay this is some this gonna be some good stuff <laughs> i see we have some new besties what's good y'all so amazing and blessings is finna come to you baby because you subscribed okay you joined the squad so if you have not joined the squad yet go ahead and be like those amazing besties subscribe like comment share with a friend so we can all be best friends baby i'm about to share with you are things that i have done or i personally do okay so the first thing is express gratitude you have to have gratitude repeat if you ain't got gratitude you ain't got nothing <laughs> when i start expressing gratitude and just Thanking God for allowing me to sit on the day or just being thankful, period. Um, you know, to be in the space that I live in or to be able to see green grass, be able to see the birds, smell the trees, and be able to smell, be able to eat. You know, just little simple things. It could be, I'm grateful to have this pen in my hand. You know, just being grateful in the moment because you got to understand like some people got it worse than you got <laughs> so we really have to like tap into that and just be thankful all around you know if you want to thank god or thank whatever source you believe in thank the universe right you have to really really tap in that it'll be times where i have wrote down in my journal i'm thankful for this i'm thankful for that you know even if you want to take it a, a, a little step farther, write 300 things that you are grateful for. I tell you, it's going to be a whole switch in your life. Like a whole like switch immediately. So make sure you express gratitude because that, that is something that plays very huge in your life. Number two is my favorite one. Aligning your you have to align yourself how do you feel like something is going to come to you and you're not even on the level of where that is at okay? the stuff that you love to do stop doing things that does not mean you no good or does not have a purpose in your life you have to really tap into you tap into yourself and really be like all right what's for me okay get away like move the distractions out your way people that ain't no good for you remove them because you got to understand when you are in line and you focusing on your purpose and you're going this way you're going forward you manifest quickly okay quickly you in focus mode you going forward you're like okay i can do this i'm blocking my energy when you get aligned opportunities just come opportunity after opportunity after opportunity when you follow each one of these steps in this video i promise you opportunity opportunity on top of opportunity period what is grounding the different ways you can stay grounded number one take a break okay take a break release release you gotta sometimes you just gotta release and let it go for me for example i had to get off social media i was off social media for about a year or a year and a half but now as i came back on social media now i'm going harder now i'm going stronger because now i know the path that i am going to now that's you removing yourself from a certain type of environment and just really just tap into you and mental first if that's you going and investing and so if that's you investing in a therapist or a counselor, if that's you just getting a support group, getting a support group, getting into a tribe that cheers you on and supports you to do better in your life or to make you 
realize some things that you're doing right or some things you need to change. Do that. It's all about environment. It's all about that mental has to be strong. It has to be in line. Get active. Get active. If that's just journaling, taking a walk, investing to just get in the gym, go there for 30 minutes, get active. Do that. Because now again, it's happening into yourself. You invested into yourself. You creating this aura around you to be a better person, to level up, to grow. Listening to music that makes you feel good and make you happy. Let me tell you, I do it all the time, okay? I be in my car listening to affirmations. I be in my car jamming to music that telling me that i am beautiful telling me i'm number one let me tell you y'all gotta get rid of all that crappy music because it's just draining your energy put something on that makes you feel good and make and and remind you of who you are you can even listen to podcasts it's some podcast you know they are giving out good gems on being the best version of yourself for just things that can make you laugh or Things that make you resonate to yourself and say, okay, I need to change this. Or, okay, I didn't know this was an issue. Audio, some audio books. Okay? Do that. Because, again, it's expanding that mental. And I'm, I'm also going to drop some links down in the description box, y'all, on some playlists that I love to listen to that really, like, elevate me and some motivational speakers that I recommend and also some some and also some audio books so make sure y'all check that down below number five y'all and this is this is a big rule in my house big big rule <laughs> first carefully again choose your words carefully in my home we do not say what we can't do we do not talk down on one another we do not say no sad stuff. We don't we do not do that because what you have to understand, whatever you speak will come into life. So you really have to be careful what you put out because whatever you put out, it's gonna come back right to you. Daughter seen a ladybug and that's one of my spiritual, like spiritual bug that let me know that like put me in awareness and let me know that something good is coming or I need to be focused on something or I need to um, be, or I need to pay attention. So we seen a ladybug, well she seen a ladybug in her bed and she ran around the room she was like, mama, mama, I see a ladybug. I said, that means that something good, I said, what that means? She said, Something's good. Something good is about to happen. I said, yes, something good is about to happen. The next day, my baby girl received some huge news. Okay. Amazing, amazing news. Some life changing news. Okay. And she was like, oh my God. I was like, I told you something good was about to take place in your life. Hey, dream. And I know you like daydream. Yes. Yeah, you got to think about as kids, right? We used to hear songs in school. You could be what you want to be. You know, whatever you want to be, you could be it, right? If you told your mama, hey, I want to be a mermaid or hey, I want to be a, a lawyer or I want to be a doctor, guess what? You're going to be that lawyer or that mermaid or that doctor. That's what you're going to be because you really, 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 really come in and we forget about those moments and we forget about we could daydream and make our reality and make our dreams become a reality. It has been plenty of times where I have manifested just by, you know, taking the day out and, and daydreaming and then letting it go, right? Um, I remember when I first put my BMW on my vision board, that next day I got in my car and my hoopty at the time and I was riding down the street, I blast my music and I was in the mist and feeling myself in the mist driving my dream car, okay? I was feeling it. I was like, oh, I feel good. I was looking good. I had my shades on. I was doing exactly what I would do when I get into reality. So you have to do that. And it's okay. It's okay to just daydream on 
what do you want your life to be? Because I'm telling you, when you put it out there, it don't have no choice but to come to you. On this video, guys, go ahead and share your thoughts and comment, okay? Let me know. And I'm going to do a bonus, bonus tip for y'all. I know I had said six ways, but I love y'all so much. I love my besties so dearly. I'm going to go ahead and throw another one in for free. Smile and laugh. And I bet you like, huh? Smile and laugh. Smile and laugh brings you confidence, baby. When I tell you my confidence has shifted my life, my confidence have brought me in so many doors. My laugh and my smile, even when I've had bad days and my bad days and my bad, and my, I don't even, I'm not even going to say bad because see, here I go. Here I go. Even in moments that I did not uh, agree in, <laughs> I still smile. I still laugh because now you, you bring an attention in the room. When you step in a room, baby, you light up. You light up when you step in that room. Just because my smile and my laugh have made me different from other people. I have literally walked in rooms where I, was, I wasn't even qualified. And I got the opportunity because of my confidence. Because I still showed up. So, let me tell you. Smile and laugh. Smile and laugh. Let all that negativity go. Smile and laugh. Keep going. Keep pushing. Be the best version of you, baby. So those were the different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. Share me. Let me know what's good. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what moment you, you in. Let me know if this video even added value to you. Did it help you, okay? So make sure y'all keep me in tune. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, besties.